how to back up the configuration of MikroTik Router OS with Ansible. Maintaining a backup copy of your network appliance configuration is a good practice for all IT professionals. You could automate this process for MikroTik Router OS appliances using Ansible. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible collection community.routeros. The full name is community.routeros, which means that is an Ansible network collection designed to interact with MikroTik Router OS devices. It contains modules for MikroTik Router OS. But let's get our hands dirty. So demo time, how to backup configuration on MikroTik Router OS with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you how to backup the current configuration of a MikroTik Router OS connecting via SSH protocol using username and password credential and save it to a file with device name and timestamp. Now, let's the fun begin. Welcome to my editor. Let's start with the inventory file, which basically is a list of hosts where to connect to. So, first of all, let me define a namespace MikroTik with the IP address of the device. Then, let me define the variable associated to this pattern. So, MikroTik colon vars. These are the variable associated to this group. You can define as group variable, but I find more useful to have everything in one file. So, Ansible underscore use is the username that you is using for the SSH connection, as well as Ansible underscore password. This is a demo password, I'm not using this one. And please consider to use uh, Ansible Vault to store securely your password. Then Ansible underscore connection will be using the Ansible network, so ansible.netcommon.network CLI and what else? Ansible network is using community underscore router OS underscore router OS. We are defining the language and the slang that Ansible should use to perform this connection. Oh, another thing important is to define Python interpreter, so in this way it will be slash usr slash bin slash python3. What else do we need? Well, we need to increase also the timeout because for the connection. So default is 30 seconds, let me increase to 2 minutes, because network devices are busy doing network things, and backup uh, could take longer. So it's a good practice to increase the timeout in this case. Uh, what else do we need? Well, we could move forward to the Ansible code now. So let's move on to the Ansible playbook. This is a standard YAML file, so let's start with free dash and the Ansible play name. In this case will be backup MikroTik. It seems a pretty descriptive name that is going to target OS MikroTik. This is the name that we define in our inventory. If you change it, change accordingly. Then uh, gather facts, let's set to false. Network device uh, usually don't share a lot of facts uh, and we don't need uh, to this overhead uh, doing the backup operation. Let me define one variable that should be useful, the path of the directory where to save a backup file. So under slash home slash Luca slash network slash backup. On the task list, uh, we have uh, two different tasks. First is to execute the export. So name export that is going to use Ansible built-in dot shell. This is uh, basically 
uh, only executing the code that we are typing right here, right now. So SSH pass, this is a way to use a password with uh, SSH and let me specify the password slash p so this is the password to connect then ssh so okay i have also an option to skip the host key verification so they show strict host key checking let me set to no and then finally we can start the connection so first of all username ansible underscore user then at and this is the host name, so it will be inventory slash uh, no underscore host. So this is a standard SSH connection. Username at uh, host name, and let me execute the command slash export. Where to save the output? Well, let me save it under the export variable in Ansible. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, let me also delegate this operation to localhost so the Ansible controller is performing the SSH connection. Second operation is to save this file to disk. So let me perform the backup with Ansible built in dot copy. The content will be the value of a variable, so in this case will be like export dot standard output. Here we go. And what else? Well, the file name, destination, and let me define the file name. Okay, first of all, we need the backup directory. Here we go, slash uh, the file name. Well, let's discuss. I would like to use uh, the inventory host name, so the name of the machine, as well uh, underscore config, then uh, dot, uh, and the timestamp. I prefer to use uh, a specific uh, uh, version of a timestamp. So let me use the lookup pipe plugin to use the date command. No, I can't use date and time. I don't have effects. So date command, first of all, the year, then the month, then uh, the day, and then uh, I want uh, a hat symbol and hour, then uh, colon, minutes, colon, and the second. And here we go. Now I'm able to construct the timestamp. Let me close it, the parentheses, and as well uh, also the variable. Here we go. Done. I'm able to, okay, let's condition to export is defined. So we are not saving any file if uh, the variable is not uh, with data and delegate to localhost. Done. So basically I'm connecting to the remote host, I'm executing the export and saving to a file with a name and timestamp. So perfect execution. And this way I'm able to backup Mikrotik. Yes, this is the export operation performed via SSH and in 20 line of code I'm able to backup the configuration. Everything done? Well, not really. We need also to create the requirement file. So this will be very easy. We need a collection and the name of a collection is the one for RouterOS that is under community.routerOS. And done. So everybody is able to execute this call this requirement and set up the collection before running our code. Cool, let's move on to the terminal. Welcome on my terminal. First of all, let me show you that I'm under slash home slash Luca slash network on my Ansible controller machine. And I have all the file that we saw in our editor and what else? Ansible is currently installed as a core version 2.12. So pretty up to date. We are ready to start the fun. So first of all, let me set up the necessary collection with Ansible Galaxy install. Dash R is for recursive, so taking care of all the dependencies. And in this case is uh, I have a 
community.routerOS that need uh, ansible.net common and ansible.utils. With uh, ansible-galaxy collection list, I can verify everything installed on my machine. So ansible-playbook this time is ready to start. So let me connect to my target machine and execute the backup. Oh, actually no, there is a missing directory. So what we can do, let's create manually. So let me create the backup directory and now the Ansible playbook is going to work it. So it's connecting to the remote machine, execute the export and save it, the output to a file. Let me list the content of a new backup directory. Here we go, we have uh, the file in the exact format expected with uh, device name and timestamp. Cool! What happens if we run again the same Ansible playbook? Well, this is not even important. Don't make sense. But, and we have uh, two different backups in the directory. So, great! Uh, let me also list the type of this file. These are text files simply to store and edit. So good job Ansible! Now you know how to backup configuration on Mikrotik Router OS with Ansible. Thank you for watching and I hope this lesson was useful for you to automate more about your network infrastructure. See us on the next lesson and have a great day! See ya! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!